Hey, what is up, guys? It's Rody out here. Welcome to our Pokemon Victory Fire Nuzlocke Challenge, episode 12, I believe. And in the last episode, we ended up losing another team member. Another team member. And we ended up replacing it with another member that we did actually catch. So, if you don't want anything spoiled while we do the team party update, make sure you go back to the last episode and check it out. Again, in this episode, we are gunning for 10 likes on every single episode. Let's see if we can do it, because it really just helps the, the series continue and motivate on. Now, I got everyone up to level 36. So, we have Sags the Scraggy level 36. Holding the likes and sense with Faint Attack, High Jump Kick, Focus Energy, and Knock Off. Now, this thing... Finally have a fighting time move going into the dark type gym. Problem is it's high jump kick and if he misses we lose half our health. So that is going to be very risky. Next off we have Kyrie the Spiritual level 36. This thing deserved to be on the team after taking out one of our members. Um, not because like it did a good job or anything but because it needs to redeem itself with Shadow Ball, Fan Attack, Hypnosis and Dream Eater. I did teach it the Shadow Ball TM that we have been holding on to for quite some time. Just because, look at that special attack stat and attack stat, they're very similar, and it is part ghost typing, so it is stab. Next, go to the Swoobat level 36 with Air Cutter, Confusion, Attract, and Carmine, looking the same. Marla, no, no Marla, Nala the Meganium, level 36 with Razor Leaf, Body Slam, Poison Powder, and Reflect. This is the best this moveset is going to get. It is not going to get any better, unless we, I think we get Mirror, um, no, not Reflect, not Mirror Coat, it's, um, Oh, I'm blanking, but it's the opposite to Reflect for special attacking. Um, I might get rid of Poison Powder for that, but either way, Razor Leaf is its strongest attacking move. Uh, grass type at least, and Body Slam is the strong, strongest non-stab um, move, if that made sense at least. Um, that's pretty much it. Now, we have Oracle the Clefairy level 36 with Secret Power, Met Metronome, blah, blah, Cosmic Power, and Minimize. Now... This thing may just be a little Clefairy and may not have the best stats out there, but we don't have a mirror, I mean a moon, um, <laughs> mirror, oh my god, my commentary is all over the place. We don't have a, have a moonstone to evolve him yet, so we are her, sorry, I apologize, Oracle, but we're going to be keeping her as a Clefairy, and not only that, it's kind of good because I think level 45 it gets medium ash, and that is the last move it ever gets, so if you teach it into a, um, make it a Clefable, it doesn't learn any moves, so I guess it's kind of good we're keeping it this age. Uh, I mean, this evolutionary line, but you know it could be better. Then we have Rayleigh in the Luxray level 36, still here with Spark, Bite, Charge, and Roar, and that is it. I said it like there was one other Pokemon because I really did think there was another Pokemon, but you know what? I thought wrong. Now we're gonna head straight into this gym. Last time this lady stopped us right here, and she scared me to death. But hey, how's it going, Champion Bound Nick? We don't know. But I have to tell you that the gym leader is a self-centered girl, so be cautious. I don't see how that matters in, like, battle style, but thank you, I guess. I mean, I know you're looking out for me, and I really appreciate that, but Lavatar. Let's, I've never actually used high jump kick, so let's see how it looks. Boom! That is a dead Lavatar, because we learned it just when I turned to level 36. Sneasel, um... It's a Dark Ice type. I guess Kyrie is also another good thing to have because it has no weaknesses since Fairy type isn't in this gen. Which is a good thing to know. Fain attacks here. Look, that's just neutral. And we tank it quite well. Why do I... Actually, why do I go into you? You can't touch this thing. Well, you can. But wait. Oh, because it used the Screech. I got kind of scared. Ooh, I don't know, Kirk. Kirk, you, you, you scare me, mate. You scare me. I did thought the ghost type Pokemon. Okay, something about ghosts. Something about ghosts. Houndour. Um. High jump kick. We missed. Oh, no. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. That is scary. That is very scary. We don't, e we don't even have a water type. I guess Raylene is the best bet since Raylene is kind of a tank. And Spark should do decent, decent enough, I guess, damage to this guy. Um, why don't I go into Swoobat? I, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Raylene is a boss. You might be thinking that I got a bit overleveled, but the rival battle had a level 36 in it. And the gym leader at the, uh, the gym trainer at the front had a level 35. So, 
I am not risking anything, not one thing, especially since the only Pokemon we have in the box. Uh, Amy, bye bye. Accordion would be bad, and Kiki. They're literally the only things. Accordion, I don't know if it got a good decent, like if it got a decent move set, and maybe speed boost. Cause I know that's its hidden ability, and I know speed boost is in this gen because Ninjask is the one that originally made it. At least I'm pretty sure it's the original one. But Ninjask is in third gen, so we have a hiker here. Let's make everything under darkness. I feel like I wouldn't want to hang out with these people if it was just like me in real life. I feel like I'd be really left out and weirded out. Mighty Anna. Um, this, see, look, if we had something like, dr oh, okay, please break through and hit. Oh, you, <laughs> you're so dead, Mighty Anna. I'm so sorry. If we had something like Drain Punch, I would honestly, oh, wow, I had a chance to miss him. Um, but if we had something like Drain Punch, that would be the absolute best case scenario. Just because we can get our health back, we have no chance of, like, killing ourselves with a move. I don't know, th things are really scary. Mighty Anna, why did I stay in? You're a dark type. Actually, you only know Bite, but still, that kind of scares me. Let's go into Nala. Let's go into Nala, the Meganium. Um, now that you've swaggered me, um, let's go for a Body Slam since it will do more. Boom! Oh my god! Oh my god, Nala! Please break through. Nala! Damn, this thing was a pain in the booty to train up. I can tell you that. Is this the last train up? There's a Zoroark. I wonder how they're going to do the illusion ability if they're going to just give it something else. But, uh, high jump kick. Oh, oh god, please. Thank you, Saggers, because if he missed, I don't even know what would have happened. We would have had to switch out because we would have been damaged, and, or we would have had to risk it for the biscuit, and you know, the biscuit's pretty nice, but just came back from my grandma's, and she fed me so much, because we're Greek, and oh, stereotypes are the best. I actually had lemon on steak, so that's even more of a, of a stereotype, but either way, enough about food, because I've had enough food to last me a century. We're going to go on to the gym leader, who is apparently a female, but from what I saw, she kind of looked like Giovanni. And I'm sorry for saying that, because I know that's like, ah, uh, kinda. We're still gonna lead off with Saggers, because I feel like that is the best option if it's a Dark Typing. Um, or we can lead off with Nala and set up a Reflect, but usually Dark Type moves are special. Either way, actually, let's lead off with Raylene, because we want to save our high jump kicks. But, Fwahaha, I'm Dez, the Master of Darkness. Do you know my teacher, Wind? He's really a stubborn and foolish guy. He decided to be an evil leader. So you have met him. So that guy's still alive. Hmm. Don't talk about him anymore. You're here for a battle, right? Hear my words. Remember them. You're trying to do something impossible. For who are prepared to be my toy. Okay, not going to lie. That was very intimidating. Very intimidating. Leader Dez, Mighty Anna, the Intimidate. So a spark will not one hit kill. But luckily, I didn't lead off with um Saggers. Because this, this gym could be very good for us. Or very bad for us. Very good. Because if we land all our high jump kicks, we can pretty much kill everything. Why do you have crunch? Um, I'm pretty sure mine is very close to level 34. And it doesn't have crunch. Uh, that might be a reason to put Mariana back on the team. Okay. Um, min max damage might bite us. But we should be able to take it out. Critical hit. Screw min max damage. What the hell is that? I don't even know. Do you guys know? I don't know. Hound Doom. Um. Saggers is our best bet here. We need to land. If we land a high jump kick, this thing is dead. Problem is, it will probably outspeed us. And that isn't good. And I can I cannot bear to lose Saggers. Saggers, if, if we lose Saggers, we've lost the Nuzlocke in my opinion. How? We need to hit Saggers. Otherwise, we're going to switch you out and... I don't know what's going to happen. Thank you, Saggers. Based Saggers from above. Take out this Hound Doom. Oh, that was scary. Oh, it's not over yet. It's not over yet, but it's scary. I think Saggers is close to evolving as well. Scrafty. See? That's dark fighting. So, what, what options do we have? Dark fighting. We can go on to Nala. And set up a reflect. 
Oh, we can go into Kairi. Oh, I got an idea. We'll go into Nala, set up a reflect. Hopefully, we'll go for a high jump kick, switch into Kairi, take all the recoil damage, and we'll take it from there. Or we can go back into Raylene. Either way, Nala seems to be the best bet with that reflect because Scrafty is a physical attacker. And I don't think, well, for one, it could, it does no high jump kick, I'm pretty sure. That's an illegal Scrafty. That level is illegal. That, unless you have Brick Break and you're just going to screw me over. Counter. <sighs> okay. Um. So that's the thing. That's a real thing we need to take care of. Um. Oh, you do have Brick Break. You do have Brick Break. So you have Counter. Brick Break. I'm guessing Feint Attack and High Jump Kick. Or focus energy or something. Counter. Okay. So since you only know counter, I'm just gonna. Oh, actually. Crunch. So you have crunch. Why do you have such a good move set? Thank you. Thank you. Now, actually, does Dream Eater work against dark types? I'm gonna Google this. Does Dream Eater work uh, affect? Dark types. There we go. How does Dream Eater affect Dark types? Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. It cannot be used if the user is affected by heal block. That isn't what I asked, but thank you for letting me know. Um, are you going to load? Thank you. It just says no. No. Okay. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. I just thought because it's a psychic move, but it's... I don't know. I'm going to use this turn to go into... Raylene, get the Intimidate drop. Oh, no, no, we don't have Intimidate on Raylene. We did when it was a Shinx. Let's go for a, ch uh, a Spark. Because this thing scares me. Okay, next Spark should kill it. Theoretically, if we get... Ma you know what? That's not too bad, because it's got that little bit of health at the end. So Spark, even with the min damage, should be able to take it out next turn. There we go. Scrafty, please go down. Oh, that is a huge threat out of the way. Oh my god, what else could you have? I don't know what else you could have. Oh, the Zoroark, of course. Um, See, I kind of just want to stay in with Raylene. I know we have high jump kick, but we're so close to evolving uh, Scraggy that I don't want... Oh, it has Hustle. Oh, it has Trace. Oh, oh god, it's Hutzel Boosted Swords Dance Zoroark. And it has a Citrus. Wait, that's not gonna kill. Raylene, please. Yes! Zoroark's down! Oh, oh, that's amazing. Oh, give me one sec, guys. Oh, I had to open my door. It's hot in here. Raylene clutched it for us. Foo -foo, you have no chance to defeat me, huh? Uh, the one who lost is me. Here you are. The badge. Fine. I know I read that out of order, but screw it. We received the black badge. That... <laughs> Alright, whatever floats your boat, Dez. With the black badge, you can use Rock Smash now. And here you are. TM46, is that... Um, Crunch, maybe? Thief. Um, I don't really want Thief. Actually, how much damage does Thief do? Because we, we don't really have many TMs. Actually, how much does it do? I didn't see. 40 base damage, and it steals an item. Sagas has Knock Off, which is 20 base, and um, removes it. So I might as well just steal it. Even though, oh wait, but we got the lax says Either way, doesn't matter. We narrowly escaped that. I know I could have gone and played it differently with Sagas and just gone for high jump kick. But if we missed and he got the Swords Dance up and we missed again, I know that is very unlikely, but it could happen. And if it did, oh, we would be in a world of strife. But either way, enough about what ifs. What if doesn't really apply here anymore since, you know what, we, we, we beat it. We had no deaths. Um, I kind of want to main with Sagas just 
so it can evolve soon. I reckon that'd be absolutely amazing. I don't know where we need to go next, though. That's the thing. Um, uh, is it in here? No, this is the... Um, I'm trying to think. Is it down here? Oh, I guess it is. Is that Miss Silk? Yeah, it is. Hi, Nick. Up to the battle in Ambulo Town. I think I really need more training, so sometimes I travel this region just like you. Well, how's the journey going? Have you earned so many badges? If you do, please battle me. Yeah, uh, uh, yes. Just regard me as an ordinary trainer like you. Let's battle. Um, it's Miss Silk. I would highly appreciate it if you weren't strong. I mean, personally, just me, I would appreciate it. You have a person level 34. I know a high jump kick could destroy you, but I'm a, I'm scared of um you know missing and faint attack since it is level 34 should be doing the job quite nicely. Yeah, see two it kills should be fine. Take that. Oh, so see doesn't even matter. The lax incense. Oh, I forgot. There we go. That worked twice. Low pony. We are a dark type, and you can learn fighting type moves, so I will switch out. Let's go into Kyrie. Hit it with a, um, faint attack. Faint attack. And, hopefully, wait, are you in, I forgot you were a normal type. For some reason, I thought you were a bug type gym leader. Agility. Um, for one, low pony, your sprite's a bit squished. It's like someone dropped an anvil on your head. Second, you already outspeed me. I'm literally, my feet are stuck in a stone. You, you literally... Oh, I guess it's because you have nothing that can affect me. I mean, that would make sense. So you're literally just setting up, trying to take out Kyrie. Uh, Kyrie breaks this game against normal type trainers. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There we go. Low punnies down. There's one more Pokemon. Watch it be like Mega Charizard XYZ ABCD and kill us all. Because I don't trust Miss Silk. Porygon Z, that's it. Um... I guess we'll go into Raylene. I know you're level 37, Raylene, but you are pretty much our strongest physical attacker at the present moment. And I don't want to risk Sagas. I don't, don't want to risk Sagas. Sagas is so, so, I guess, important to the team. And even though we have Hustle, we don't miss often. If we missed against the, um, against, oh, what, what is it? The Zorak. Oh my goodness against the Zoroark, then we would have been in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. Okay. Well, Nick, you did great! I don't know why I held your note there, but maybe I should employ you as a trainer in our school. Here, I'm, I'm kidding. Fine. Um, I won't be in your way anymore. Bye, Nick. So, just keep running. Keep running, running, and running, running, and running, running, and running, running, and running, running, there's a new encounter, what is going to be? I don't know. Um, it's a Pokeball. I'm going to catch it in that Pokeball, just to prove my point of not even having a point. What is it going to be? You can usually, this reminds me of um, the route where you can catch Talos and stuff like that. So, what is it going to be? Doop's Claws is a thing, and I'm really sad. Jesse. Jesse Lee. Jesse, no. Okay, what else is there? A Doduo. Now, I am almost 100% sure. In fact, I am 100% sure we have not encountered a Doduo before. So let's go into Kyrie, since we do have Hypnosis on this guy. And I know we may not be able to hit it, but there we go, we do. So, I completely lied to you guys. And watch this. Where, where's the poke Pokeball go? This is the one that I picked up off the floor. And there we go. So, we're being resourceful. Dodoo was caught. Um, you, I'm going to name you Hydra. Because when you evolve, you get multiple, I mean, you already have multiple heads. But, like, I don't know, I feel like, yeah, I like that name for a Dodoo. Hydra. Okay. Well, what do, you, what do you have to say? I'm on vacation now, so nobody pushed me to battle. Huh? I don't think you also want to battle, right? Of course not. No, exactly. Yes. Um, I don't know what that was, but I guess we won't use Dodo Oryx since we already have a Swoobat in the team, and we don't really need another flying type. 
Especially since our weaknesses on, um, for, uh, what's it called? Wait, did we have a rod? If we had a rod, I'm going to get so pissed off. You have bounce. Finion knows bounce. You know what? Let's let Oracle take out this Finion. Look at that base 100 um, HP. I mean, I'm not base, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Raylene. You know what I mean, Raylene. You know what I mean, Raylene. But if we had a rod, I could have caught a water type Pokemon, and that would have been awesome to have. So if we do, I'm going to be kicking myself so hard. Do we? Do we? No, we just have a Whale of Hell. Okay, I don't feel too bad now. Not too bad. I know in um, Light Platinum, you can encounter Pokemon on, like, these water puddles. Like, you accidentally stepped on them. I don't know why. It's kind of stupid. Grovile. You're level 21. So a faint attack, even though it's resisted. I mean, it's not resisted. What am I talking about? But it should have killed you. Machoke. Um. Because you're level 22. I'll just take you out. Why are you level 22? Oh, is this the evolution? Is this level... What? Oh, is it level 39? No, I'm checking this up. I'm checking this up. Um, Scrafty. Scrafty, afty, 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 afty. I'm not doing that till the next episode. <laughs> um, yeah, level 39. Welp. I guess you'll stay in a Sagas or just a Scraggy. For a little bit longer. Uh, I kind of want to do some grinding. I might grind up everyone just one level. I don't know. I probably won't actually do some grinding. But either way, I feel like I'm going to end the episode of here because there's that whole event thing and I'm going to save that for the next episode. So, if you guys looked um, enjoyed this episode, make sure you smash the like button down below to support the channel and the series. Again, we're going for 10 likes every episode, so let's see if we can do it. I know not much really happened. We literally just took on the gym, caught a Dodo. Speaking of which, how is this Dodo? Um, what is it? Is it like adamant? Please. No, I'm at summary. It's hasty. Got early bird. Peck pursuit, uh, fury attack, and try attack. Try attack isn't bad. Uh, I don't know. Well, either way, like I did say, 10 lives we're gunning for. I'm going to make my way downtown, walk in fast places, flash, and we're homebound down here um follow my twitter if you haven't link will be in the description below you get like updates just like that i know you you probably just heard the sound but i clicked i don't i don't know either way um yeah don't have much else to say this has been a hurdy ad catch you guys later peace